Welcome back. Now, for nomenclature of alcohols, in terms of um, naming alcohols, we have different systems of naming them. There's the trivial system. Of course, trivial names are common names of organic compounds. Then, specifically for alcohols, there's the cardinal system. And then we have the systematic names of alcohols. That's by the IPAC system, where we have a set of rules that guide us when we name them. Now, there are some alcohols on the board that we'll try to use to show how each of these systems work. Like in the trivial system, this first alcohol, which is the commonest of them all, or most important, we refer to it as ethyl alcohol. So in that case, the OH group is named as alcohol, and the rest of this molecule is an ethyl group. Ethyl is C2H5. So we have two carbons here and five hydrogens. It may be easier to visualize this as ethyl alcohol if this OH were put here. In any case, if I remove this, you have ethane. So that with the removal of that H, we have an ethyl group attached to OH. So if I were to put Cl here, of course, we would have called it chloroethane or ethyl chloride. But in this case, because we don't have a chloro group, chloride, what we have is an hydro or a hydroxy group or an alcohol group. We call the compound ethyl alcohol. Moving on from ethyl alcohol, the next one here would have been propyl alcohol if it had this OH on carbon 1. If the OH were on carbon 1, we would have called it propyl alcohol. But as it is now, we would have to call it isopropyl. So what is isopropyl actually? What's the name of iso? Iso has to do with branching. When you have a propyl group that is branched, yeah, you call it iso. So in that case, if we were to look at this, if we were to relate that to this, you can imagine bringing this CH3 down and taking this H to that side. So everything becomes the same as this, just for this H that has become replaced by a CH3 group. So we call that isopropyl alcohol. This next one that we are looking at here, of course, has how many carbons? Four. We'll call it isobutyl alcohol. So isobutyl alcohol is this next compound, while this last one is called methyl alcohol so we have methyl alcohol as the last compound's name however by the cabinol system now the cabinol system is special the cabinol system assumes that all alcohols come from methanol or from methyl alcohol so this methyl alcohol itself is called cabinol then for the remaining alcohols they are seen as derivatives of this in that one hydrogen is lost and is replaced by a group, an alkyl group. So we simply name the alkyl group and then add cabinol to the name. So if you come back to this, compare these two structures, what you see there is this H has been lost and has been replaced by a methyl group. So it means that ethyl alcohol may also be called methyl cabinol. So methylcarbinol is carbinol in which one hydrogen has been replaced by a methyl group. Then what about this? Can you see carbinol here? Yes, there's carbinol. This is carbinol in the center. But instead of HH, you know, if I were to remove all of this and put H, remove all of that and put H, I'll get carbinol. But in this case, it appears like two hydrogens have been removed and have been replaced by methyl groups. So I'll have to call that dimethyl carbinol, dimethyl carbinol, that's the name of that one. Then how do we name this one by the carbinol system? Well, if you look at it properly, you see that there's carbinol here, just that this hydrogen has been replaced by three carbons that are not continuous, not in a straight chain, but instead they are branched. Just like in that case, we call the group isopropyl because OH was on carbon two. So in this case as well, you see that the carbinol group is on carbon two. So we'll call these three carbons isopropyl. So this compound will be called isopropyl carbinol. So I have named all four of them by the carbinol system. Then finally, by the IUPAC system, which is most reasonable, this compound is called methanol methanol then this is called 
ethanol of course that's easy to explain one carbon two carbons then for this one it has three carbons so i'd expect that it to be called propanol but within that three carbon structure the oh group is located on carbon two so i'll call it two propanol if the oh were on carbon one i would have called it one propanol and please bear in mind that two propanol is the same as propan two all so propan two all two propanol the same propan one all one propanol the same then um for this we have not named this now by the ipac system so going by the ipac system see what we have the longest continuous chain has three carbons so for that i'm going to write permit me to write this way so i'm going to write propan all right then there's an oh group all and that way group is on carbon one so one propanol but on that three carbon chain there's a metal group here as a branch on carbon two so i'm going to add two methyl so the compound is two methyl one propanol if you don't say two methyl one propanol you could say two methyl propan one or so two methyl propan one all is a correct name for this compound but it can also be written as two methyl one propanol so those are the names of these compounds there are many other alcohols that have different uh, many different names just like that as we go ahead as we go ahead to see alcohols in some details we'll also encounter some more alcohols and get to see their names as we move along but for now how do we prepare alcohols that's where we're going next